Welcome, Minneapolis Lions fans, back to the Hoisington Activity Center. We're here for the championship game on the girls' side between the Minneapolis Lions, who will be wearing the uh, visitors' colors tonight, and the Hoisington Cardinals. Lions playing for their, in their first ever championship in this tournament against the Hoisington Cardinals. They finished uh, fifth, third, and third in past tournaments here. So this will be the highest uh, finish they've had in the fourth try here at Boise. Well, three minutes before we tipped, Scott, I told you that full court was good. No, it was excellent. <laughs> I, I went ahead, so it was an excellent, uh, excellent, had a, a pecan pie, and whew, that was pretty good. So about three minutes away from the uh, girls matchup, and uh, uh, yeah, pretty exciting to see a chance to, for the Lions to play for a championship here. If they get it, that'll be their second uh, tournament championship of the season. How about that? Uh, That's yeah. true. They won that opener. Just one defeat so far this year. Minneapolis Lady Lions playing uh, pretty consistent ball. Uh, even better as of late. So, the Hoisington uh, Lady Cardinals should give us quite a, quite a tussle here tonight. I look for a pretty close game. Yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, the, this uh, Cardinal team will be pretty quick and pretty fast. And they're, uh, they're not extremely tall, but uh, I have a feeling they're going to move the ball pretty well. And they do have, well, I shouldn't say that. They do have a couple of uh, post players. They've got listed at 5'11", so, uh, so uh, well, possibly they, uh, they're bigger than they look from down here. So looking down there, they're fairly young, mainly sophomores, one junior, and uh, one, two, three, four seniors. So a lot of sophomores on that squad. So we had a sophomore that kind of burned us last night from Hoisin Hill. Let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. Minneapolis Lady Lions uh, uh, coming off of uh, victory last night, playing for first place here. One loss on the season, that was to Beloit, at Beloit. And the Lady Lions um, will have a chance to uh, come away with a tournament victory. And, uh, um, boy, how nice that would be. The Hoisington Cardinals lead this series 3-1. to one. Minneapolis won the last game between the two of them two years ago. Poisonton Cardinals will be in their home white. Uh, uh, good crowd here. Minneapolis got a fairly good crowd. Uh, it's gonna, it could get kind of loud in here tonight. Minneapolis does have quite a few folks that came down for the both games, actually. The boys just got done. Minneapolis victorious and a third place finish here in the tournament. So we look for good things here in the ladies venue. Exactly. So we'll be uh, ready for the starting lineups here in just a second. Minneapolis Lady Lions in their traveling blue. Poisonton Cardinals in their home white. Uh, we're calling an Axelson with Russell and here with Poisonton it'll be an Axel. <coughs> we're going to have the national anthem first.
Well, welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas, as we get ready for the uh, match of tonight. The Minneapolis Lady Lions taking on the host Hoisington Cardinals here in the Cardinal Winter Jam for the championship for uh, Minneapolis Lady Lions. Starting out, Ashlyn Macy for the Minneapolis Lady Lions. And uh, Mike, I'll let you go ahead and give the uh, give the starting lineup for the uh, for the Hoisington Lady Cardinals. Number 14, Jennifer Axman. Well, start. Connor Fulton for Minneapolis. Ashlyn Macy, the other guard for Minneapolis. Becca Meyer, another starter for the Lady Cardinals. As Scott mentioned, they do have a couple of post players. Jay Shoemaker, the senior leader for Minneapolis. And we have two Axmans on the floor at the same time, Brittany Axman and Jennifer Axman. Kelsey Page, the sophomore, had a big game last night, 18-point performance for Hoisington Hughes will be the power forward, number 30, for Minneapolis, Allie Steinbrock. Flager, Valerie Flager will be the post player for Hoisington. Looks like their bench, they've got a couple of taller girls on the bench. But so do we. We match up rather well tonight, it looks like, against the uh, Lady Cardinals. So we're about ready to do action here. Mike will have the call. I'll do the uh, I'll do a little bit of color and keep some stats as Minneapolis Lady Lions and the Hoisington Cardinals just about ready to do battle here. So as we mentioned, Minneapolis boys uh, played a relatively very consistent first half, uh, I would say. They were kind of coasted in the second half, got out to a 20-point lead, and coasted for the victory earlier to uh, claim the third-place medals. Just getting ready to tip, Shoemaker and Flagger for Hoisington. So Minneapolis playing for the tip here. Washington gets the tip, but uh, Connor Fulton jumps in there for that steal, and Minneapolis with the possession. Hand-to-man -man defense by Hoisington. Motion offense for Minneapolis. Shoemaker all alone underneath. Tries to get it up and cannot. Off the bottom of the backboard, and Hoisington takes control on the lane she goes, hands it off to Flagler. Her shot is up and in. And a 2 nothing lead by Hoisington. Flagler. Hometown team has uh, got their home whites on. Minneapolis in their traveling blues. Shoemaker, dribble drive, kicks it back out to Macy. Fulton comes out to get it as we start the offense. The Lions are looking a little, uh, a little confused here to start it, just uh, not in rhythm yet as defense. Definitely a man-to-man -man defense and another turnover by Minneapolis as Mayer stick, or Hughes jumps in there and intercepts that pass. Now down low, shot up, off the rim no good by Axman. And uh, we're on the move, up tempo for Minneapolis. We don't have numbers, so we pull it back up out of there. An entry pass to Steinbrock, shot up. Good. Nice job, Allie Steinbrock, as she hits the floor hard. But a great inlet pass by Shea Shoemaker, a bounce pass. And Allie uh, uh, recovers it and takes it in and gets fouled. But great job by Allie Steinbrock. That is the first personal foul on Mayer. And Steinbrock will get the and one. It's good. 3-2, Minneapolis. No full court pressure by Minneapolis. We're going to pick them up man-to-man -man at half court. What they like to do is, uh, watching them, is they like to dribble down and pop and shoot or uh, drop off with the pass. And they've got some trees down low. So. They get the second 
stick back by Flager and the tie up as Kelsey Page jumps in there for that loose ball. And the possession arrow is to Minneapolis. Yeah, Mayer went right around our defense all the way to the rack. Shot was just off. Now Fulton with the ball, entry pass to Shoemaker down low, left hand shot, no good. And it's gonna be blue ball. Right through the hands of Mayer. Fulton will play it in for Minneapolis. <clears throat> they zone up on the inbounds play. Long shot from the baseline. Page shot is no good. And Mayer with the rebound. They do try and push it, don't they? Yeah, they do. Shot from the baseline, good by Axman, Brittany Axman with the 10 foot runner on the baseline. Uh, Weatherman, was, away. Weatherman wasn't joking when they said that they uh, should have been a walk right there. Weatherman was, wasn't wrong when he said they'd like to run and push the ball, and they, boy, they do push the ball. 4-3, Hoisington. A little contact by Macy and the action. The other action in the lane, Jennifer, and shot is up and in, and Coach Weatherman calls a quick timeout as the Lady Lions find themselves behind by three, and we'll take a quick timeout ourselves. Minneapolis trailing 6 3. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, a Lions sports backer. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam championship game here as Lady Lions had the ball here. Macy, the entry pass to Steinbrock, gets it down low and she is hacked. She'll head right back to the free throw line to shoot two. And that foul is on number 32, Flager. So, a 32 first personal foul for Flager. Steinbrock will go to the line. Allie's first throw on its way, it's good. As, as uh, Allie. Six to four, Hoisington and uh, Alley second throw on its way. It is good also. Nice job. Six to five. Now we see the full court pressure by Minneapolis. They clear the timeline without too much trouble. Now it's a steal by Fulton. And she has a layup. She gets there and it's good. Connor Fulton. Good defensive play in the back, in the fork, front court. And there's a hack by Fulton. So that'll be Connor Fulton's first foul. Dale just cleared him out, didn't he? Thank you, Dale. <laughs> You're welcome. They'll play it in. Good the lob. Hand. They didn't take hand signals. <laughs> Way out front. Dribble drive in the paint. She's hacked by Sh Shoemaker. Big time. Mayer will go to the free throw line to shoot two here. Shea Shoemaker's first foul. Fulton has one. Shoemaker has one. Two team fouls for Minneapolis. She's a lefty. Free throw, no good. Off in front of the rim. Seven to six, Lady Lions with the lead here. Second throw on its way. It is good. We're all tied up at seven. Connor Fulton, long three pointer, no good. Steinbrock. Has it for a minute and goes off her head and out of bounds. It will be Poisington ball. As Minneapolis 2-2-1 zone trap as a walk, no call. That was another walk, but that is called. Good call there by the referee. So, Minneapolis will have it here, tied it up at seven. Macy in the backcourt. Man-to-man -man defense by Boisington. Spin move by Shoemaker, in the lane she goes. Shot, no good. 
Connor's got to watch out. She'll pick up another foul all the way in. Basket shot is no good. Flager shot, no good. And Shoemaker, a tie-up is tied up. Wow, by Mayer. I'm not sure how that was a tie-up. Mayer is but, very uh, active. Yeah, she is. The Apples gets uh, coming in on the floor will be uh, four. Kyla Gregg, fresh four players, Bailey Walker, Riley Baker, and J.C. Crossan. Shea Shoemaker stays out. Possession arrow to Hoisington. They'll play it in. Minneapolis zoning up on the inbounds play. Set play for Mayer. Now in the lane, shot is good by Axman. And she's got three buckets, I think. Uh, she's the got two her sisters. Got, <laughs> yeah, sister's got. Uh, the Axmans have them all. Craig so. with the ball out on top. Gets it on the left wing <laughs> to Shoemaker. Down the lane she goes, dribble drive, layup good. Nice job by Shea Shoemaker there. It's her first points of the night. So they pass it oh, the top and Mayer May in the backcourt. Underneath the flagger, good ball movement. Shot is no good and Greg has the rebound from Minneapolis. And like a good defensive person, they stop the ball. Mayer, very good defensive player. Nine Walker. to nine here. Walker on the right wing gets it off to Baker, and they throw it away. Poison Tim will get three new players in. Number 30, number 11, and number 23. Number 30 is Brittany Hughes. Number 11 is... Uh, Brianna Burns and uh, what did I say, number 20? No, I don't know who I said else. So, Almost a steal by Shoemaker. Um, they get it across. Now Flager down low. Shot good. That's Hughes, excuse me. Hughes with the bucket and Hoisington takes a two point lead. Shoemaker with the ball out on top. Kicks it back out to Crossan. Her pass to Walker. Hits her in the shins. Now Greg out on top. Gets it to Shoemaker. Baseline drive shot, no good. And Shea did a good job staying off the back as she tried to reach in for that tip. Couldn't get her hand on it. Hughes. She I think she there. Yeah. yeah, that is Cooper with the walk there as Minneapolis will. I'm gonna say Blakely? Blakely Cooper. Yep. So. That's how I would pronounce it, as I remember. 11 to nine, Cardinals with the lead. Minute 55 left here in the first quarter. Crossing gets it off to Shoemaker, has a look at a three, but can't pull the trigger. As Hughes jumps out on her real quick. Skip pass to Crossing. Back to Greg. Just a good tight man-to-man -man defense by the Lady Cardinals. Walker, dribble drive in the paint, shot off the glass, no good. And Mayer with another board for Hoisington. And the ball goes out of bounds, turns it over back to the Lady Lions. 11 to nine, minute 22 left here in the first quarter. Uh, Shoemaker will sit down as Connor Fulton checks in. This is a team we could see also yes. at uh, Substate. Mm -hmm. Walker so. with the ball running the point for Coach Weatherman. Gets it on the wing to Crossan. Now Baker, shot. Good. There you go. Nice job, Riley. Free throw line extended. A nice shot from the elbow. It's good. Now Hughes, skip pass. Crossan has a hand on it. It goes all the way in and Kekel. Pickle, the benefit of a tip uh, uh, as Crossan tried to get it, just uh, couldn't get it quite. Nice crossover dribble by Bailey Walker. We cannot elude the defense. Crossan back to Fulton, has a look at a three. Down the lane she goes. Kicks it back out to Crossan. Her shot is blocked by Burns. Now Mayer gets it off to Hickle. Drags that pivot foot, no call. Now left wing shot is no good and the rebound by Fulton. 
Now on the right wing, Bailey Walker. Being guarded by Cooper's the other set. That's Knocked out of bounds. That's stay with Lee Lyons. Lions ball. 3.5 seconds left. They're going to have to quickly get a get it in here, get a shot off. 13-11, Hoisington with the lead. And we do. Oh, nice try, Kyla Gregg, in and out. Wow, that was a good look. Kyla got a really good look on that. Couldn't quite finish it, but uh, that's what they wanted. They got the look, they got the shot off, and they couldn't get the finish. Lady Lions trail by two at the end of the first quarter, 13 to 11. You're listening to 910Canada.com as well as Eagle, Eagle Communications Channel 8. The State Bank of Delphus and the Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis are locally owned community banks committed to making your banking experience as easy and personal as possible. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. If you're searching for the right insurance to fit your needs, look no further. The Scott Osherman Agency is the place to go. American Family Insurance has been providing security and peace of mind for over 80 years. Call the Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis, your American Family Insurance agent. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small town family atmosphere. Great prices on new and used cars, new GMC trucks and SUVs. Serving their customers since 1957, Bennett Autoplex Salina. Welcome back to the Hoisington Activity Center. Possession arrow to Minneapolis as we start the second quarter. Minneapolis with possession here. Kelsey Page back in. And Ellie Steinbrock, nice dish kick out to Page, and her shot is up and in. We're all tied at 13. Kelsey gets her first points of the night. <clears throat> Both teams with their starting lineups back out there. Lady Cardinals with the motion offense we ought to be familiar with. Looking for a cutter, and they've got good motion with the, the ball. And they've had a couple couple of cutters that were open but could not get them the ball. Minneapolis doing a good job covering up. Nice double down there as we close in on the defensive end. Entry pass to Flager is tipped out of there. Oh, it will be Washington ball. I thought uh, the way uh, Connor looked at it go, I thought maybe that would have, uh, was ours. So, when the doubt grabbed that thing. We stay in a man-to-man, or -man. part of them are, and part of them are locked up. Man-to-man -man defense by Lady Lions. Well, Mayer all the way in, and good defense by Minneapolis as she is she tied up. An elbow to the chin, and uh, the possession the arrow there. is to Hoisington. They'll play it in under their own basket. Mayer uh, throw it in for the Lady Cardinals. In tight, that's Axman. Brittany Axman. Well, she caught that in traffic and still got a shot off. Page dribble drive baseline. Kicks it back out to Macy. Now Shoemaker down the lane she goes. Dump down pass to Steinbrock. Her shot is no good. And Axman has the rebound for Lady Cardinals. Mayer is just a bundle of energy. She is on the middle. Now Flager hits one on the other side. It's either Burns or Burns. Flager. Burns is who it was. Shoemaker back out to Fulton. Back to Shoemaker, three-pointer on its way. It's good. There you go. Nice shot by Shea there. Shoemaker nice. with a good look from the top of the circle, and it's good to see her knock down that three-pointer. Yeah. Great dribble drive by uh, Connor Fulton to see that, get the penetration to come out, and kicks it wide open to Shea. Flager out front. Motion offense for the Lady Cardinals. Axman out front. Now down low to Burns. Clear out on top, Mayer. Mayer, pretty solid ball player. Gets it off to Flager. Axman. Puts the ball on the floor, is covered well by 
Fulton gets it off to Flager. Left hand layup is good. They don't miss much down low, do they? Well, they don't, Dale. They do a nice job down low. 19-16, Hoisington with a three-point lead. Macy with the ball. Entry pass to Steinbrock. Up and under, shot. She is fouled. She and Allie line. Steinbrock has gone to the line three different times down there now. Second foul on Iyer. Meyer. Steinbrock will get two here. First throw on its way. It's good. Meyer will sit down and Hughes back in. They don't lose anything there. As Hughes is a pretty decent ball player herself. Steinbrock second throw. Good. Nice touch Gets by Allie out. Steinbrock. Allie's going to get a little breather there as she. That does a great job. Uh, Jason Cross will come in for her. Now Axman handling the ball for the Lady Cardinals. Hughes puts the ball on the floor, back out front to Burns. Flager has it. Almost a steal by Page. And the shot is off the rim, no good by Axman. And Macy with the rebound from Minneapolis. Right wing, Fulton. And she goes, scoop shot. Follow up by Shoemaker. Got that rebound in midair. Her stick back just off the rim. Why bring it down? It's a good job by Shoe to stick that one back up in there. And like you say, there's another. Flager. Flager with a big rebound down low, a big uh, bucket down low. She's got six points. and. Got to Cardinals. recognize that she's left-hander, and she gets the defense sealed off on that side. She is deadly. Cardinals with the lead, 21-18. We'll take a break. 4.22 left to go in the second quarter. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communications Channel 8. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast to the Lions games. Join them as they support student activities and the teachers of Minneapolis Junior Senior High School. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Welcome back to Poisonton, Kansas. Lady Lions will have the ball trailing by three here halfway through the second quarter. Zone defense now by the Hoisington Lady Cardinals. Switching defenses. During that timeout, Fulton behind the line, steps back, lets rip a three. That's yeah, no good, and Wandra, excuse me, that passes way out of bounds off the hand of Hughes. Kelsey Page did a good job of forcing that pass and uh, created the turnover right there. I guess 14's Axman, the other Axman, so. I can be right some of the times with the name. Shoemaker, three-pointer, no good. And a big rebound by Brittany Axman. Now they throw over the top. Burns has it for the Lady Cardinals. Right wing Hughes. Entry pass down low. Off the fingers of Burns. I think she jammed a finger and it went out of bounds. It will be a turnover and Minneapolis ball. 21-18. Don't know for sure, but I think Hoisington's gone about nine deep into the bench, about like Minneapolis. So Kyle Gride checks back in as well as Bailey Walker. So Fulton, Walker, Shoemaker, Crossan, and Drag on the floor for the lines. Shoemaker with the ball on the right wing, looking inside, looks for a cutter as Drag. Crossover dribble, she gets all the way in. Scoop shot is good. And uh, Hoisington's gonna call time out to talk about it. Well, so. little lax in defense there. A 30 second timeout as Shoemaker splits the defense and gets all the way to the rack for a layup. Now it goes through three defenders right there. Nice pick at the top of the key by Crossan, but then uh, Shoemaker just weeds her way right through the lane and gets the little scoop and the bucket. 21-20, Hoisington by one. It'll be their ball to play in when we come back. Well, I think it was a 30-second timeout. Yeah, 30-second so timeout, so I'm, I'm going to say we just to keep it here, guys, as we uh, uh, should be about done here. 3.17 left to go in the first half. Hoisington up 21-20, and the Cardinals will have the ball. Lions keep the same five on the floor. That is Walker, 
Gregg, Crossan, Fulton, and Shoemaker. Hoisington plays it in. Axman in the backcourt. Gets it off to Flager. She's looking inside. That's Great the job. Right the hand oh, no, no, thank you very much. I was afraid I was going to have to get upset there, Dale. Scott Scott. <laughs> Hickle with the last touch. It's Minneapolis ball. Walker off to Greg on the right wing. Shoemaker between the circles. Now Fulton on the right wing. Connor has taken a couple of shots, almost a walk there. Shoemaker gets a pick from Gregg. Baseline drive is shut down by Burns. Gregg in the lane, shot no good. Crossing, working hard for that rebound. But Flager, pretty tough on the boards. Now Axman in the backcourt being hounded by Gregg. Flager gets it off to Hughes. Burns. Off to Hickel, shot no good. And that's tipped out of there by Flager, and it will be Minneapolis ball. Minneapolis has done a better job down in the low post the last couple times down the floor, sealing off and trying to prevent, uh, uh, trying to prevent uh, Flager from uh, getting that low post position. Brittany Axman back in for the Lady Cardinals. Minneapolis trying to attack this man-to-man -man defense now by Poisington. The defense is being changed continuously. Coach is a lady over there. That she knows her stuff. The team plays hard for her. Shoemaker with the ball. Dribble drive, spin move. Kicks it back out to Walker. She walks with it. And there's a three second call on Fulton. Turnover Minneapolis. Unforced errors. And those are costly. 140 to go on the half. Lions trail by one, 21 Hughes 20. Has the ball, clears the timeline, tries to split the defenders. Can't get it done, and Walker throws it to. Oh, my goodness. He is just steamrolling. Wow. Nice job by J.C. Crossan. J.C. just getting level. Great job by Kylie Gregg and Bailey Walker to set that up. And then Kylie sees J.C. cutting. And so Flager with uh, her second personal foul. And Cooper will come in for her. We play it in. Fulton, three-point shot. No good. Crossan is whistled with the foul. Trying to work herself into position for that rebound. And it goes out of bounds. And Hoisington will play it in. 21-20, Lady Cardinals. Axman with the ball in the backcourt. Bragg picks her up. Because Florida at least. Uh, oh, where's the double dribble? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I, thought, uh, I thought they called a foul on uh, Crossman. They did. The, oh, there it is. There it is. I was going to say, I hadn't seen it. But the shot landed on the line anyway. So that the foul is Crossman's first. Now the entry pass to J.C. She spins it, kicks it back out to Shoemaker. Now Shoemaker returns the pass. Shot's no good from the baseline as Crossan has a really good look. We've been at 21-20 for quite a while here as Minneapolis tries to prevent here. <laughs> Just see Walker hanging onto the shirt. <laughs> Was it the player? She was driving down the lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And she gets called for it. Hey, so. Walker with the foul. So, 21 20, 50 seconds to go in the half. They will play it in. That's the sixth. No, just the third. That can't be right. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not right. It's not. Well, they have six fouls. Uh, they have five fouls. Our fourth team foul. Yeah, that's There's, our fourth team foul. Now it's our fourth team foul as Burns comes back in. And Hughes heads to the bench. Officials trying to get that straightened out at the scores table. And I don't think that's right either. No, I've got 
I've got four. I've got JC has one, Shoemaker, oh, Connor, Washington. Walker. They just changed them. Do they still have just four? I've got them for three. Okay. So that's not right either. They've got, according to the board up there, they've got. Uh, We're going to zone up on this inbounds play as Cooper throws it in. Axman in the backcourt. Or the back. Oh, entry passes tipped out of there by Baker. Now Heckle's shot off the glass, no good, and Baker has the rebound for Minneapolis. 35 seconds left, first half. Minneapolis. Oh, we get bailed out as bailed out Heckle there. reaches in, I believe. So Frost had a good pick out there. Pickles first personal foul. And we're going to play it in under our own basket. Baker throws it in to Greg. Baseline gets in and Shoemaker turnaround jump shot up and off the glass. No good, but she is fouled. She'll and go she'll go to the line to shoot two. I believe yeah. Hickle. Yep. Hickle with her second foul and is about in about the last 10 seconds. Shoemaker's free throw, good. And we're all knotted up at 21 apiece. As Hughes comes back in and Hickle heads to the bench. Second throw coming by Shoemaker. Throw on its way, off the rim, no good. A 94% free throw shooter. First one I've seen her miss in this tournament. Hughes gets it off to Burns. 14 seconds to shoot, entry pass to Hughes. Shot is blocked, she is fouled. I think that's two on Shoemaker. Or Riley Baker may have been called with it. Yes, that is whistled on Riley Baker, her first. Hughes at the free throw line to shoot two. Free throw is good. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Hoisington. Eleven seconds left. First half. Second throw on its way. It's good. Also, she's a good free throw shooter. Shoemaker clears the timeline for Minneapolis. Six to shoot. Down lane she goes. Has a shot. Partially blocked. Yeah. She thought she uh, got fouled actually. And that's the way the first half will end. Hoisington with a two-point lead, 23-21. We'll be back with first half stats, point totals here in just a minute. Where do you hear Hoisington as the Cardinal Winter Jam Championship ball game here, and it is a good one here as the Hoisington host Cardinals with the halftime lead 23-21 to against our Lady Lions. But Mike, it's been a great, uh, very intense first half of basketball. Been a good first half, well played by both teams. Uh, Hoisington, a uh, very deep bench, has played probably nine or ten players uh, in the first half, and you, you really can't tell. They've got substitutes in there. Minneapolis uh, going nine deep ourselves, but uh, good close ball game. We had a chance to uh, go in tied, but uh, we put Hoisington at the line uh, late in the first half there, and they come away with Two free throws there to put them up by two. Get ready for the second half. So uh, Minneapolis right there. As we uh, look for the point totals, uh, who's leading the way for us, Scott? Well, let's go through Hoisington first. I've got the uh, Lady Cardinals, Brianna Burns, with uh, two points there in the first in the first half. Jennifer Axman two points. Becca Meyer with one. Brittany Axman, I believe Brittany is the senior of the two. I know she's the junior, six points. Um, four points by Brittany Hughes, and six points by Mallory, Mallory Lager, and two points by Reba Hickel. So they've got quite a bit of scoring from quite a few different people as uh, to get their 23 points. For the Minneapolis Lady Lions, Connor Fulton with two points. Uh, two points by Kelsey Page. Two by Riley Baker. 
seven by Allie Steinbrock. And leading the way, Shea Shoemaker, as she has eight points. So Minneapolis comes away. They're trail, trail by two at the end of one. But uh, uh, what's kind of uh, one of the things I'll point out is that uh, um, fouls were kind of even, uh, six fouls to five. But what's interesting is uh, um, we have nobody with two fouls. We just have uh, uh, Bailey has one, Connor one, Shea one, JC one, and Riley one. But for uh, Hoisington, Becca Meyer with two, Mallory Flager with two, and Reba Hickel with two as well. Uh, that yeah, is pretty last, unusual for us. What was that? That is pretty unusual for us. I know, I know. So. It's, it's a different night, but uh, Paige with a big night last night, and the player <laughs> that we played from Malwood Hill tonight only had seven points, and uh, the, the Bachman, or whatever the other can't remember her name now. She had 20 points for Ellenwood, and we thought they were a one-man show with Phil. So, you know, it just depends on what given yeah. night it is. Someone's yeah. going to step up, and Minneapolis needs somebody else to step up here tonight. Shoemaker and Steinbrock carrying the load so far, but we need to get uh, Connor Fulton and uh, Kelsey Page going on the offensive end. Yeah. Uh, Connor uh, struggling uh, from uh, the outside and hasn't really, hasn't has hit one bucket underneath, but uh, uh, Allie Steinrock, a uh, great first half, uh, seven points, five for five from the free throw line. Uh, you got to like that. Uh, we would have been seven for seven, ended up being six for seven, and unlikely, Shea Shoemaker misses a free throw. Yeah, <laughs> so. it is unlikely. Steinbrock doing a great job here in the first half, and uh, get a couple more going with her, uh, we can come away with the championship here tonight. Absolutely. Going to have to uh, make some adjustments and figure out a way to, uh, um, uh, and I felt like they did a better job of blocking down off that low post. Going to have to continue to do that. And uh, uh, Becca Meyer did a great job of trying to kind of distribute it. She's got two fouls, but you know she's going to be back on the floor to start. She's kind of their floor general, and she pushes the ball very well, and she distributes the ball very well. So you're going to have to find a way to uh, keep that low post and blocking out. But on the offensive side, I think somehow, some way, you gotta get Kelsey Page in the mix, and it'd be nice to see Connor Fulton in the mix as well, and maybe hit some big shots. Well, we're three minutes from tip. Boys are uh, warming up, the Hoisington boys. Uh, just kind of looking at the matchup between Pavera Heights and Hoisington. Uh, looks like Pavera Heights might run into the same thing we did last night. The, 6-7, 3 that their duet that goes out there from Hoisington are tough. And uh, for their heights, not a lot of height. But you never know until you uh, play the game. And yep. So let's go ahead and take a break. We're about three minutes away from the start of the second half. We will take uh, about a two-minute break, and we'll be back with second half action. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. You with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics. Back to Hoisington, Kansas, Cardinal Winter Jam. Bill Leach, Mike Perry, myself, Scott Osherman here as the Lady Lions trail at the half, 23-21. And Mike, uh, I talked about what I felt like they needed to do. How about you? Well, they've uh, played a pretty decent first half. They've got to they've got to have some help defense when they get that ball down low on the low block. Uh, we were not in foul trouble, and that's a blessing which uh, we're usually by this time in foul trouble, but uh, we're keeping our senior leaders on the floor, and uh, with that in mind, I think we have the advantage of uh, the outside shooting when it comes to uh, putting the ball in the hoop. I think we're gonna heat up here in the second half and take this win. We play it in, the possession arrow to start the second half. Macy plays it in to Shoemaker. Now left wing, Ashland, Pass down low to Page, it's up and in. Nice pass by Ashlyn Macy to Kelsey Page down in the low block. Now Hoisington, Mayer, Meyer, out to Hughes, almost a steal by Page. Axman, now Mayer all the way in, shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, stick back, no good, and Flager over the top of Steinbrock. Steinbrock with great position pulls down the rebound for Minneapolis. Page out front to Fulton. 
She's looking inside, kicks it out to Shoemaker. Dribble drive in the paint, she goes left hand, shots up and in. Several of those didn't drop in the first half. Glad to see that one true. Yeah. 25-23 Minneapolis. They throw over the top and Hughes, or excuse me, Axman has it down low. And she is fouled. Page with the foul, her first. And Axman will go to the line. She will shoot two. First free throw is good. Pretty decent uh, free throw shooting team, the Hoisington Lady Cardinals. Three of four in the first half. Second throw on its way, missing. And Shoemaker with a strong rebound from Minneapolis. We have numbers. And Hoisington gets back on defense real quick. Fulton, entry pass to Steinbrock, kicks it back to Page. Now Fulton right wing, out front to Macy. Steinbrock looking inside. Shoemaker has a look at a three. Now back. Out. Page, three-pointer on its way. Off the rim, no good. And Meyer has the long carom for Hoisington. Down the lane she goes. Shot is partially blocked. Axman has it. Now back out front to Meyer. Right wing, Axman. Flager. Now on the left wing. The other Axman. 25-24, <laughs> Lady Lions with the lead. Entry pass oh, nice and close to Jennifer Axman, and the shot is up and in. And Minneapolis quickly down the court, layup by Page, it's good. Nice job by Kelsey. She beats the defense back, and a quick basket. Minneapolis now with a one-point lead. Another nice assist by... Ashlyn Mason. Meyer, entry pass is stolen by Shoemaker. Two on two, Shoemaker all the way in, draws the defense and kicks it off to Ashlyn Macy for the little layup on the left-hand side. And Minneapolis with a 29-26 lead. Left wing, Hughes. Full timeout being requested and granted to the Hoisington coach. And we'll take one to Minneapolis with a three-point lead, 29-26. We'll be back after this quick timeout. Farm Bureau's wide range of insurance and financial products help protect what's most important, your family, auto, home, and other possessions. Call your Farm Bureau financial services agent in Minneapolis, George Dressy. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Mutual Insurance Company. Roth Repair has been a fixture in Minneapolis for some time now. Fixture, get it? Roth Repair can fix, replace, maintain, patch, build, remodel, and mend just about anything. The work is professional and the cost is reasonable. Roth Repair, Minneapolis. Call them today if you need something done right the first time. Let's make it delicious. Let's make it fast. Let's make it a meal from KT's in downtown Minneapolis. KT's, home of the almost world-famous hamburger. KT's wishes the Lions best wishes during the upcoming season. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. And Lady Lions 29, Hoisington 26. 520 left in the third quarter. And Hoisington will have the ball on the inbounds on the sideline. Jennifer Axman to throw it in. Into the forecourt it goes. Meyer, now Flager on the right wing, looking for a cutter. Motion offense. Minneapolis is quite familiar with this. Down low it goes. Flager shot off the glass, no good. Shoemaker with the big board for Minneapolis. Wow, what a rebound. Now the skip pass to Page, shot no good. Fulton gets shoved down by Axman. And Macy with the good pressure in the backcourt on Meyer. Oh, she carried it. It was a travel. Yeah. Well, they missed the uh, carry there, but that travel was pretty obvious there. So. It turn caught up with her. It's a turnover. Minneapolis to play it in. Fulton into Macy. Possession arrow is the other way. Next tie-up. Shoemaker left wing. Gets a pick from Macy. Puts it on the, down the lane she goes. Back out front, Fulton. Gets a pick from Macy. Down low to Steinbrock. 
Should have been out of bounds. It was off the bottom of the backboard. Page saves it, and Fulton comes up with it somehow, and she is hacked by Axman. Nice job by Kelsey Page. I don't know how she saved that, but uh, she got to it somehow. She got to it somehow. Fulton to play it in for Minneapolis. 4.17 left in the third quarter. Connor Fulton into Shoemaker. Out front, Macy. Left wing, Page. Puts the ball on the floor, and she goes. Shot no good. And the rebound by Burns. Gets it off to Axman. Out down low, Flager. Back to Axman. Jennifer Axman with the ball. Out front to Mayer. Brittany Axman, now Flager with the ball. Right wing, it's Burns with the ball, looking inside. Great job by Ashlyn Macy down there. Great hustle by Ashlyn going down there against number 21, which is Brittany Axman. And uh, they tied up, and stay with Hoisington, but uh, great job by Ashlyn Macy, Mike. Possession arrow still, now it's turned our way. Minneapolis will get the next tie up. Meyer. Good ball movement right through the wickets of Flager, and that will be Minneapolis ball. Pass could not be handled by Flager. Minneapolis gets four new players in. That's as Bailey Walker, Riley Baker, Kyla Gregg, and J.C. Crossan check in. Shea Shoemaker will stay on the floor with them. It's been the substitution pattern throughout the year for Coach Weatherman. And, it's, and it works nice. It's been working nice. Shoemaker with the ball out on top. Gets it off to Greg. Could use a right wing Baker dribble drive in the paint. She goes, dishes it out to Greg. Jump shot, no good. A little flat. Uh, just can't, couldn't quite put it through. Kylie got the score tonight. She's had a couple looks and just haven't been able to find the bucket. Oh, nice job down low by Crossan. Axman picks up the loose ball for Hoisington. Shot by Flager is no good, and the ball goes out of bounds <laughs> off Kylie Gregg. No foul. No foul. Kylie Gregg. <laughs> Kylie Gregg uh, uh, hits the floor kind of hard. So. Kickle and add one other substitution. Flager, turnaround, jump shot, no good, and Crossan with the big board and the reach in foul by Flager. As J.C. Crossan had a big rebound there. That's third foul on Mallory Flager. And that could be big. This is the second team foul of the half. She's the tall person down under. Shoemaker out on top, being guarded by Hughes. Left hand dribble. Dishes it off to Baker. Baker wasn't quite ready for that pass. Now the entry pass into Baker. Axman is all over. Now the pass goes way out front to Shoemaker. Off to Crossan. Entry pass is like a pinball machine. Not a good idea there as she tried to thread the needle between two defenders. Heckle, shot good. We've gone too long without a bucket and gave them too many opportunities. They finally score and bring it back to within one. 29-28. Minneapolis with just a one-point lead. Crossan out front. Baker shot. Rimming off. And Hickel has the rebound for Hoisington. Long pass over the top to Flager. She rescues it on the right wing. Now Hughes almost walks with it. And Coach Weatherman passes it ahead. Wow. We double down. Nice help defense by Gra or Baker down low. That's going to reach in. Yep. Reach in on Shea, I believe. Nope. Oh, they're going to call it on Baker. Baker. Her second personal foul. A lot of confusion over that scores table tonight. Third 
team foul on Minneapolis, second personal foul on Riley Baker. Actually, they changed and turned over to, to uh, J.C. Carlson. So. Yes, they did. That's second foul on J.C. They play it in, Mayer in the paint. She goes, left-hand shot, it's good. Wow. And that's a reach-in foul on Walker, has her on the arm in the middle of her shot, and the basket will count. No, that's no intentional foul. No way. Basket is going to count. She will get the and one. Poison takes back the lead by one. Free throw on its way. Rimming off. Shoemaker has the board as Flager is shadowed no. all the way down the court. And that's tipped out of there by Flager. I think it should, should be blue ball. It should be blue ball. Thank you very much. So. I was going to say, I don't know how in the world that would have been off of uh, Shoemaker. Minute 12 left in the third quarter. Baker to play it in. Tries to get the pass in between two Boisington Lady Cardinals. And it looked like Hughes broke a nail. Shoemaker plays it in to Baker out front to Walker. Lines up a three back to Shoemaker. Three ball on its way. No good. Flager does a good job boxing out as the rebound goes right back towards Shoemaker. Mayer oh, loses her feet. Could have been a trip right there. Uh, um, wow. That one should have been a foul call. No, he, it didn't look like it to me either. I thought she just lost her footing, and Minneapolis is awarded the ball. Walker out front to Baker. I've seen him call a trip in a situation like that, and that's what I was afraid that they might have called, Mike, and that's what... Wow. There they called off Bailey Walker and uh, turns it over. That's a makeup call. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Meyer in the backcourt. Clears the timeline. 35 to shoot. Flagger. Out front it goes. Why go after it? Why, now, why is, that a, why is that not an over and back? Because did, did, we we touch, did we touch it? Did we touch it? I didn't see what I said. Why, why do we even go after it? We shouldn't have gone after it. We shouldn't have gone after it. Whoever touched it first, if Hoisington touched it first, it's definitely a backcourt, like you said. Yeah, I know. That's but what it looked like Bailey Walker got to it first. And uh, if she touched it, then it's it's not a backcourt. And there's no reason for her to go after it. Mayor. Oh, great job, by Shea. Is intercepted by Shea. I right, got it. Time. 12 seconds left. Now Shu gets it off to Walker. Three ball on its way. Yes! Nice job, Bailey Walker. Great job. <laughs> great time to hit a three right there. Wow. Boy, she had an open look, and Walker hammers down the three ball from beyond the arc. Good to see us get that shot off at the buzzer at Minneapolis. The buzzer. With a two-point lead going into the fourth quarter, 32-30. We'll be back with the final quarter of this championship game here in just a minute. Bennington State Bank is proud to sponsor the Minneapolis Lions this season. They're proud to be a part of their great community and strive for excellence in their school curriculum and athletics. Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Bennington, Minneapolis, Salina, and Wamego, member FDIC. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910 KINA News Talk, and 99 KG Country is a proud sponsor of Lions Sports Coverage. Listen to live broadcast on 910KINA.com or on your local Eagle Cable, Channel 8. Todd and Shelly Wilson and Wilson Shields Funeral Home offer affordability and dignity. They know that the Minneapolis Lions will have a great season and want to wish them the best. Wilson Shields Funeral Home, our family serving your family. Family. Welcome back to Hoisington. Great job by the Minneapolis League Lions. Only uh, held uh, Hoisington just seven points in the third quarter there. Nice job. Minneapolis scores 11 to take the lead, 32-30. to 30. And uh, uh, they held Hoisington scoreless for quite a while, Mike. Hoisington, a uh, very physical team. And Minneapolis up for the challenge here, as Scott mentioned, did a very good job 
on the defensive end. Minneapolis to play it in as the possession arrow is pointing our way. Fulton has the look and the shot. Three-pointer on its way, no good. And the tie-up as the possession arrow is switched. Yeah, it's Steinbrock with the tie-up and Hoisington will play it in. 32-30 championship game here. Hoisington Lady Cardinals with the ball. Pass to Hughes on the left wing. Entry pass to Hickel. And the, it's intercepted by Fulton. I thought she was on the baseline, but uh, referee was right there, so she was not out of bounds. Three-pointer by Page. Good. Yeah, nice job, Kelsey Page. Great spot up, great look, great pass by Shea Shoemaker. Actually, Kelsey was just standing there That's all a alone. big shot. That's a big shot. Why do them like that? You got to hit those. And there's a push off. Whoa, whoa. I, I, Boy, Ashlyn, they hadn't gone Ashlyn, that all night. Yeah, Ashlyn had, uh, had reached in on that, but I'd also kind of wondered if we might get a little uh, forearm. Yeah, so. 35-30 Minneapolis. Foul is on Ashlyn Macy. Baseline drive by Hughes. She is mugged and no foul. <laughs> make wow. A, make up caller. <laughs> and it's out okay, of I'll take that make up call. I'll take that make up call. Minneapolis so. ball. 7.06 left in this contest. Minneapolis has the lead. Fulton out on top. Left wing Page. Right wing Macy. Entry pass to Fulton. She turns into the turns defense. Into the defense, yeah. Uh, and nice job by uh, Meyer. Becca Meyer. She uh, she did a great job of tying that one up. You got to watch it when you turn into the defense like that. Oh, well, but if you don't know the defense is back there. Well, yeah, but uh, you just, you just have to contradict me. I, I I think you know I like it better, Mike, when you and I talk. Burns back <laughs> in for Hoisington. <laughs> Minneapolis plays it in, and Page tries to get it in down on the low block to Shoemaker. Can we hit a mute button? <laughs> oh, we love Bolton you, Dale. Play it in. I'm glad somebody. Page knows. lines up the three ball again. Ooh, off the back of the rim, no good. Close. She was spot on it though. Now Axman gets it off to Jennifer Axman. She saves it to her sister, maybe cousin, and out front it goes to Meyer. Dribble drive. Shot off the glass, no good, and we box out real well as Page did a good job on Hickel, or on Axman. Good grief. Jennifer Axman. They're letting them play, aren't they, Mike? Championship game. 6.20 left to go, 35-30, leading lines with the lead. We play it in, Steinbrock with the ball, right wing, Shoemaker, dribble drive, spin move, in the paint, shot, good. Nice job, Shea Shoemaker. Seven point lead, 37-30. Minneapolis up for the challenge here. Axman at the top of the circle, reaching on oh, Fulton. Great job. <laughs> good hustle, Brittany, or good hustle by Connor, Connor Fulton. And Connor did a great job, bro. Thought Connor she may have had it away. I thought wow. we had a, a tie up. But she has whistled with the reach-in foul. Axman will play it in for Hoisington, and Hoisington coach wants a timeout and is granted one. We'll be back after this quick. It's a full timeout after this one-minute timeout. 37:30 at 5:58 to go in the game. For all your insurance needs, check with Bob Martin, your Farm Bureau Financial Services representative in Minneapolis. He can ensure what matters most with Farm Bureau Financial Services. Bob can help you protect what's important. Your car, home, life, health, business, and more. At Robertson Monument, they believe that supporting community activities are very important. That's why they're sponsors of Lions Sports. Minneapolis is a great town to live in, and Robertson Monument hopes you make it to as many games as possible. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam championship game here. 37-30, Lady Lions with the lead. 5.58 left to go in the ball game. And uh, uh, 
great effort by the Lady Lions. All right, now we're out hustling them, and that's hard to say because the Hoisington girls are very scrappy. That Meyer girl and the Axman girls are all over the floor. But Minneapolis doing a great job on the defensive end. They play it in after the timeout. Axman gets it off the flagger. Now they're back into their motion offense. Axman passes it off to Burns on the right wing. She's looking inside. Meyer has it. That's His double up. team yep. gets it off to Axman. Almost a steal by Page. Now down low. Burns shot is off the glass and in. 5.34 left in this contest. Macy with the ball gets it off to Page. Skip pass to Shoemaker. Has the baseline and is shut down. Page with a three-pointer on its way. It's yes! And she gets it! Great job by Kelsey Page. Hits the three and hits the floor. Oh, that crawl wow. right over the front of the rim and went in. Shooter's touch. Shooter's roll. Wow. Did, 40, that, ever, did that just ever just roll in? Nice job, Kelsey Page. 40-32, and she gets the chance for the four-point play. Free throw on its way. Good. The second one of those was hey, tonight. We saw one of them last night, but hey, it was for Hoisington. So. Yeah, we haven't seen one for quite a while, and there... We see them back to back. 5.19 left. Minneapolis now with a nine point lead. Hoisington in the backcourt in no hurry. Meyer just walks it up the court. Crossing checks in uh, for Page. Axman out front to Burns, gets it off to Meyer, looks at a three, gets it off to Axman on the right wing. Dribble drive. Shot no good. And the foul. That's yep. a bailout. <laughs> She had yeah, nowhere to Dale, go. I, Dale, I want to ask you something. What? Why don't you ever give Mike static when he makes a call like that? She <laughs> had nowhere to go with that shot, and it would have actually hit, probably hit the side of the backboard. Minneapolis with good defense over there. Axman will go to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw rimming out. Mike reacts to things like that much differently than you do. <laughs> You're more fun to pick on. Hughes back in. <laughs> Uh, Washington. <laughs> Second throw on its way. It's good. <laughs> Five minutes left in this championship contest. Connor Fulton with the ball out on top. Gets it on the right wing to Macy. Left wing Shoemaker. Gets a pick and a three-pointer on its way. No good. And it will be Hoisington ball. 41-32 after the miss by Shoemaker. 4.43 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Meyer gets it off to Axman. Hughes, turnaround jump shot, good. Six point advantage now for the Lions. 41-35. And Coach Weatherman wants to talk about it. It's getting late in this game. Minneapolis with a six-point lead. And it's a full timeout taken by Coach Weatherman. Minneapolis leading 41-35. We'll be back after this one-minute timeout. Ada Grain is proud to be a sponsor of Lions Sports and hope that the boys and girls have a successful season. Ada Grain believes that sports and a quality education go hand in hand, building strong bodies and minds. It's fast, it's furious, and it's fun. It's Minneapolis Raceway. Minneapolis Raceway has brought you exciting races to central Kansas and will continue the tradition. Minneapolis Raceway will give you and your family some of the most exciting races ever seen. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam as Lady Lions had the lead and the ball, 41-35, 4.17 left to go in the ball game. And Mike, they've... Uh, Going to have to continue to play some fundamental ball, control the ball, get the buckets when we need to, and somehow shut down their low post because they started to go back in the low post down there and yeah, they've gotten some buckets. They're doing a good job getting the ball down on the low block and uh, scoring at will down low. Minneapolis cannot go into the deep freeze here. We've got to stay on the offensive agenda, and we've got to put points on the board, as you mentioned, Scott. Shoemaker left wing. As the ball gets it off to Crossan. Now the bounce pass over to Macy, being guarded by Meyer. 
That should be Minneapolis ball as Hughes jumps the passing lane in front of Page. Pretty good matchup there with Hughes and Kelsey Page. A couple of pretty good athletes going at it. Yeah. Right wing Fulton being guarded by Axman. Now Shoemaker puts the ball on the floor. Down the lane she goes. Oh, wow. No trip. Wow. You got to be joking. She got oh, my goodness. a hip thrown into her, took her feet out from underneath her, and hit the floor. And then they didn't even call travel on her. I was yeah. expecting them to call travel on her. Okay, I, <laughs> this is getting a little bit of... Uh, it's getting a little bit out of control now, so. Ashlyn Macy picks up her second personal. Coach Weatherman is wanting to know why that isn't the same call down at the other end. As Shoemaker hit the floor down there, Meyer goes to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. Minneapolis seventh team foul, first throw on its way. It's good. Pretty good free throws now. Uh, decent free throw shooter. She makes the first one there. Five point lead, two possession ball game here. As Meyer has the second free throw on its way, it is rimming out. Shoemaker has the board for Minneapolis. We throw over the top, Macy in close. It is no good, but the foul is on Flager. And that's her fourth, I believe. Well, that's what I got her for. Macy goes to free throw line to shoot two, and we sure could use one of these, Ashlyn. <laughs> I've never seen that on a free throw. Oh, folks, uh, ball is stuck up in the uh, uh, up in the basketball goal. I have so never seen that on a free throw. Board. Yeah, we'll put it in. Continuation. <laughs> They threw a ball up to knock it out, and it went in. This will be the second free throw. Right, it comes in, and we get one. Much better look on that second free throw. Ashland, not the best free throw shooter we have, but she gets one of two, which is good for her. Hughes, left wing, puts the ball on the floor. She's in the lane. There's a steal. And Mace is going to be called with a reach-in foul. Wow. And they go right back to the free throw line. We cannot put them at the free throw no, line. Mayer is going to be back there. She was one of two the last time up there. Eighth team foul, third on Macy. 30, 42 to 36 at the 308 mark. Myers first throw on its way. It is good. Forty-two thirty-seven, and we've got a substitution as Burns comes in for Flager. That's a good move. She's got four fouls, and Burns, you don't lose much with her. She's decent. Second throw on its way. It is good also. We throw to the top, cross and shot is blocked. There you go. Fouls on the floor. We're gonna call that on the floor as Crossen is mugged. Crossen took a little bit too much time as the pass goes over the top. We would add an easy bucket. But it goes, the foul was on uh, Axman. Minneapolis to play it in. Out front it goes Macy. Three minutes left here in the ball game, 42-38. Lines up by four. Uh, nice pass yeah, into nice Shoemaker, job. and Axman reaches in. That basket's going to count. The foul actually was on the older Axman. I thought it was on the younger one, but it's on Brittany Axman. Flager comes back in for Burns. And Shoemaker goes to the free throw line. 
for the three-point play the old-fashioned way. It is good. 45-38, Minneapolis with a seven-point lead. Washington hanging around. They're tough. Yeah, they are. Mayor all the way in the paint. Shot is good. And so is that Mayor girl. That one heck of a heck of a ball player, and she is tough as well. And they call the timeout. 45 to 40, 236 left to go in the ball game. We will take one with them. You're listening to Minneapolis Lee Line Basketball here on 910Kennedy.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. City Pharmacy has brought to you quality professional pharmaceuticals since 1963. Joe and Amber Wool will help you with your medications, durable medical equipment, cosmetics, gifts, and greeting cards. Your hometown pharmacy, City Pharmacy, downtown Minneapolis. CNR Plating would like to take this time to thank their many friends and customers for making their business what it is today. Kevin also wants to wish the Minneapolis Lions a great season. CNR Plating, a Lions sports backer. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. 45-40, Lady Lions with the lead. And the basketball, they will have to inbounds. So... I'm assuming it looks like they will pick up full court press, and they do. So it's a little soon to foul, but the good pressure defense. Well, it's not really too much of a pressure. It looks like they're going to try to trap, but um, not even a trap. I don't now they're picking up man to man full court or half court anyway. I thought they would all over the floor, but they're not. Page with the ball. Out front to Macy. Loses her footing, gets it off to Connor Fulton. I think Connor was coming around there. It could have been a turnover. Crossover dribble by Shoemaker leaves Axman in this her tracks. Now Fulton all the way down the baseline. Gets it to Shoemaker all the way in. Shot, and it's good. Yes. Count it. Yes. Nice job, Shea Shoemaker. Wow. Shoemaker down low on the block and a nice baseline move is fouled. And the shot is up and in and they're gonna count that basket. Foul is on Meyer. That's her third. Bailey Walker Leger. will check in. Legger back in. Ashlyn Macy. Shoemaker's free throw. Off the front of the rim, no good. And it's off of white, stays with blue. You know, that's a nice hustle move by J.C. Crossan to get a hand on that, and Hoytington could not control that tip, and it is awarded to Minneapolis. Another one as Flager gets her hand in the passing lane as Fulton tries to find Shoemaker on the backside. Nice play there by Hoytington. 47 to 40. Fulton lines up a three. It'd be a good time to hit that one, Connor. Off the back of the rim, no good. Long pass down to Flager. Shot off the glass. Wow. That was a big shot by Flager. That was a deep, deep bank shot. <laughs> and uh, I mean, catch, turn, and shoot, and that was a big shot. So, 47-42, full timeout requested by Coach Weatherman. And granted, we'll be back after this one-minute timeout. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School linebackers are proud to continue. There we play it in. Walker in the backcourt. Minute 33 left in this contest. Craig. Look, Bailey, what are you doing? Wow. Big turtle right there, and that's... Uh, Craig with the turnover, and that's a tough one right there. Yeah. Walker tried to save it, and it goes out of bounds to Hoisington. Buck 21 left in this contest. Meyer all the way in the paint is stripped by Shoemaker. We get it back on a nice steal by Shea Shoemaker. Now Fulton gets it off to Page, off to Shoemaker. We're going to run clock now. Middle left and make him foul Shoemaker. Holy cow. Should be blue ball, thank you very much. Ton of contact going on down there. And Meyer just 
completely wrecks Walker down there. 57 seconds remaining. Just take care of the ball, girls. Thank you. Reach in foul by Meyer and sends Walker to the free throw line for a one and one here. A uh, couple of free throws here, Bailey Walker, and we can uh, warm up the bus. Four fouls. 49 seconds left. First shot coming by Bailey. Rimming off. Flager with the rebound for Hoisington gets it off to Axman. Al Meyer has it. 43 seconds. Down the lane, Hughes, jump shot, no good. Way to go, J.C. Crossan. J.C. Crossan with big, big rebound. rebound. <laughs> nice job, J.C. Off to Fulton, Shoemaker has it in no man's land, and she is shoved by Axman to the backcourt. I believe Jennifer Axman. Yep. And we get our free thrower at the free throw line that we want there. Shea Shoemaker, a 94% free throw shooter. Coming into tonight. That kind of, she missed two tonight, so. 47-42, 29.3 seconds on the clock. You hit your free throws. You win. Yeah. First throw on its way. It is good. Oh, oh. Off the rim, no good. Oh, my gosh. Just 25 seconds left in this contest. Walker with a good defense Don't on my Don't foul, girl. Don't foul. No fouls. You're right. Long shot. Good. Oh, my gosh. You got to be kidding me. That was a flat one, wasn't it? Flat footed three point shot by Becca Meyer. Wow, that was huge, guys. Well, if they come back to win this, it's our own fault That's for it. not hitting those free throws. You missed the front ends of those one and ones late in the game. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. Minneapolis still with a two point lead and the possession. 14.8 seconds left, full length of the court to go. And you know Hoisington's going to be pressuring all over the floor. Yeah. Next foul is double bonus. And next foul, they foul us, uh, puts us in the double bonus. But still, uh, we've missed the front end of one on one three times now. And, um, that's, leave, that's leaving the, some points on the floor. Ouch. Uh, that's leaving the door open for your competition. And we're playing. For the inbounds here, Connor Fulton to play it in. I wonder if they'll go with the long ball. No. They get it in to Walker. Off to Fulton. She almost throws it away. Get it across, get it across to Kelsey. Pass it off, Kelsey. Call the Thank timeout. You. Yeah, they call the timeout. Thank you very much. Wow. 5.6 seconds left. Boy, they weren't going to foul, and the they had Kelsey trapped in the coffin corner. You have got to keep the ball moving this late in the game. They're over the limit, and Page goes to the free throw line for two shots here. It'd be nice to hit both of these, and we'll call it a night. Free throw on its way. Good. Nice shot, Kelsey. Hits the first one. They have got to hit a three to tie us, unless Page puts his Second free throw in, if it does, it seals the win for Minneapolis. 48-45. Second throw on its way. No good. Poisonton with the ball, free to shoot. Long pass down court. Yes, they go. don't get it off. That's the ball game. They do not get it off. And wow. They had a pretty good, they had a pretty good look there. They won, made one pass too many. And Minneapolis victorious, 48-45, your Winter Jam champions, Minneapolis Lady Lions. What a game. Yeah, absolutely. Minneapolis comes away with the victory. Uh, what, uh, what a ball game, guys. Great performance by the Minneapolis Lady Lions as they come away with the victory, 48-45. to Hoisington had a chance to tie it at the end. Uh, but, wow. Nice job by the Lady Lions. So, uh, and the Hoyton Winter Jam, Minneapolis, the tournament champs. That's good to good to hear that. Second tournament these ladies have won this year. Yeah. 
Nice job by the Lady Lions. Uh, uh, great job. As uh, they uh, run through Ashlyn Macy, Emma Giles, Bailey Walker, Connor Fulton, Shea Shoemaker, number 14, Danae. Danae line, yeah. Danae line, as well as number 15, Kyler Gregg, Kelsey Page, JC Crossan, Sarah Sharps not on the team. Unfortunately, Riley Baker. Ali Steinbrock, nice job by the Lady Lions tonight. What a, what a nice job uh, to come away with the uh, championship here at the Hoisington Midwinter Classic. So nice job. I know this is one of the goals these girls set for themselves early on, and uh, this is the second tournament they have finished first place in. Wonderful job. Oh, and they the all tournament team. Yeah. Um, just listen for the all yes. tournament team. So, listen. Shea Shoemaker. A senior from Victoria, Kendra Carlini. Uh, only one. I, a sophomore. Kinda, I was hoping Kelsey Page might get it. So. That's Madison Beagley right there, everybody. A sophomore from Minneapolis, Kelsey Page. There we go. I was hoping Kelsey uh, would get named there. So. So. We got two in. Yep. Connor. Good deal. We get three on the all-tournament team. Connor Fulton, Shea Shoemaker, and Kelsey Page. Wow. Good job, ladies. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's exciting for uh, Connor Fulton, Shea Shoemaker, and Kelsey Page. All three get named the all-tournament team. That's pretty exciting, guys. Very exciting. Uh, it's unfortunate we won't uh, be able to hear who gets on the all-tournament team for the boys' side, uh, but uh, uh, I'd like to think that we would have uh, one or two on that one, I'd hope. So, Boys' championship game is coming up. Guys, why don't we go ahead and take a break, and, and uh, we will uh, be back with uh, some stats and hopefully an interview with Coach Weatherman. You're listening to 910KNA.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 8. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas, as the Minneapolis Lady Lions come away with a victory tonight in the Cardinal Winter Jam in the championship game against the host Hoisington Cardinals. And exciting to see the Lady Lions come away with a victory, Mike. And how exciting is it to not only get the victory, but have three players named on the all-tournament team in Connor Fulton, Shea Shoemaker, and Kelsey Page. You know, the awards after the tournament's all done is... Uh, an indication just how hard uh, our team has played. It took a team effort to get those three girls on the all-tournament team, but uh, I'm sure if you ask Coach, that victory here tonight was probably one of the bigger ones he's had. It's 47-45 and uh, played a, just a quality team, and they took us right down to the wire, and we just persevered at the end. Didn't hit our free throws, but we were right there and uh, came away with a victory. It was a big win for Minneapolis girls. Yeah, it was. Ball. It was definitely a big win. Yeah, they, uh, we, we left some points on the floor going uh, uh, in the fourth quarter, especially 10 and 15 from the free throw line in the fourth quarter. Uh, Minneapolis Lee Lions, uh, they uh, uh, left, some, left some points on the board, and uh, Coach Weatherman uh, was going to join us here in just a second. And, um, Coach, first of all, congratulations on a great victory, buddy. Thank you, guys. That is uh, very exciting. Uh, I'll tell you, I uh, got a little nervous at the very end, buddy, but uh, um, I thought it was a done deal, especially when they fouled Shea a couple times, and I thought, oh, wait, uh, we're going to finish this one off and have some room to spare. And Yeah. So. We, um, you know, we haven't exactly 
been in that position all year, and we didn't handle it real well. You know, as the season progresses, hopefully, you know, we can learn from from our mistakes tonight. You know, we we, we got a little bit anxious a couple times when we didn't have to, and um, you know, like I said, we haven't been in this position. You know, a lot of the games we've won, we've won going away, and then of course we the boy game we were trying to play catch up. So um, learning experience and and winning a championship. Pretty good deal. Yeah, it is. It's very exciting. Not only that, it's exciting to see uh, Connor, Shea, and Kelsey be named to the all tournament team. That's pretty exciting. I know that I'm very unofficial on my stats there, but uh, exciting to see the Lady Lions come with a victory. And, um, you know, uh, talk about uh, they held their own in the first half, but they came out in the second half, third quarter especially, and did a great job of, uh, of just putting the ball to the floor, getting it inside, and getting some big outside shots after dribble penetration. We talked about that all year, and we hit some other big shots tonight. Yeah, you know, um, first half, our game plan was come out and, and play some man-to-man -man defense. They, they beat us on the dribble a couple times. We didn't get very good help defense. They got a couple real easy baskets right off the bat and you know we kind of changed our game plan there for a little bit um, and uh, it took us a while to settle down at the beginning of the game. I, we talked at halftime about you know having you know put the ball on the floor, take it to the basket. We you know they were bigger than us but it felt like we had a little bit of advantage quickness wise that we could you know beat them to the basket as well. You know all the accolades are nice coach and uh, I know that uh, the girls like to get those but I was telling Scott the team played well as a whole all the way through the tournament. Uh, we had our moments, but you know all the nine, ten girls that played uh, really played hard for you, and I thought you had a pretty good tournament here. But after you put all the accolades uh, away, but uh, what does that victory tonight mean to you against a quality team like? Uh, what we just who we just got done playing at Hoisington. Well, you know, you get to this time of year, you, you as a coach, you kind of like these games because uh, they just, you know, when you get in the sub-state play, officials are going to kind of let it go like they did tonight. You know, <laughs> I, I thought the officials did a fairly decent job of just letting the girls decide the game. You know, that um, yeah, one of the fouls called. You know, Shea takes the ball, basket gets knocked to the ground, come to the other end, we pick up a very similar foul at the other end and. And, um, you know, you just kind of got to keep plugging away. You know, you're, you're not going to get every call. Some calls you may not agree with. Uh, but, you, you know, you just got to keep playing. And, and we did a good job of that. I didn't think our girls let that affect them. Um, I, you know, at times I felt like we probably were, you know, we're blocking out and people going over our back. But, you know, they're a little bit bigger than we are. And, and we're probably going to let them get away with that. You know, I know a couple of girls are going to, uh, the light came on, I think, and realized uh, how much those free throws mean there down the stretch because we could have shut the door fairly easily, but uh, we kind of left it open for them a time or two there. Got a little scary for us up here, but uh, for the most part, the girls played well, uh, played really good on defense, I thought, and uh, Kelsey had a good uh, final game here against Hoisington, I thought. Was it out? One of the things that uh, we had talked about at the halftime is coming out. One of the keys that we felt that they needed to do was the fact that Kelsey needed to come out and get some points. And Kelsey came out and got 12 of the 14 points in the second half. Yeah, you know, and um, she she had that good game last night. I was a little bit nervous if she could she could duplicate that. And, and I think early on, um, a couple shots didn't fall for her. But you know, she didn't. I never felt like she ever was forcing it, and, and the shots started falling. And, and Overall, as a team, I never really felt like we, we forced it that much on offense tonight. You know, we kind of took what they um, gave us, and, um, you know, uh, last shot Kelsey made that the rim gave way about six inches was about as big a basket as we've seen all night.